Hello, hello, welcome to another video. Today's video will be about Kamrach. I know, I'm probably butchering it, but hey. Kamrach uh, from Latafa, this fragrance right here, I'm going to compare it to Angel's Share. Because, of course, everyone is talking about how this one is such a great dupe for Angel's Share. Let's see if that's actually true. Let me start by showing you uh, Kamrach. Uh, it's a new fragrance, quite new. It's out of stock, unfortunately, from what I'm hearing. Uh, it seems to be in high demand. And of course, uh, everyone is buying it mainly, I feel like it's mainly because it's a great dupe for a very expensive fragrance, which is obviously Angel Sheer. In terms of packaging, you can see for yourself that these two are quite similar. They're not identical, of course. I do prefer this one. It's less uh, chunky, I would say. Um, it looks prettier, but this one is actually not bad. Not bad at all. I, I have seen some ugly bottles out there. This is definitely not an ugly bottle. The only thing with the packaging that's a little bit annoying for me is the fact that I need to work out to be able to open it, <laughs> to be able to take off this uh, cap. Yeah, other than that, the packaging really seems, I mean, looks more expensive than what this fragrance costs. Uh, of course, the packaging is important, but maybe... I mean, not as important as the fragrance itself, of course, but sometimes with some fragrances, with some of these um, like dupes or clones or whatever, the, the packaging is um, kind of ugly sometimes. So it's like, you don't want to display it. You don't want to like, you're a little bit ashamed of it. Uh, it's not the case here. It's not the case. This is, this is quite pretty, I would say, but like, um, it's a personal preference. I do prefer this one because it's, smaller i guess uh the cap, cap here is like <laughs> it's not you cannot count on it you cannot like i mean you can but you're risking it a little bit because it's really easy to just drop it if you're going to use this uh, certain way of uh of grabbing it the kamrach bottle is 100 ml uh the angel chair is 50 ml so hence that uh difference and in, in size of course, the shape is slightly different. They are both Eau de Parfum concentration. So there's that. But now let's talk about the smell. If we are just to look at the notes, we will already see differences. Because this fragrance, Kamrak, does not list cognac in its notes. Obviously, Angel's Share does. For me, it's a big thing. This difference brought some disappointment, I have to be honest. So, this fragrance, Angel Share, is great for me because of the presence of that cognac mixed with all of those delicious other notes. So this makes this fragrance special for me, Angel Share. So I was obviously expecting the same in camera. I didn't get that. So first when I sprayed it, I was expecting to, to get a, a boozy type of smell you will not get it in here. It's not in here. So it's not in the notes and it's not in real either. Because sometimes, of course, you get two fragrances similar um, in smell, sometimes identical, different in notes. You cannot trust the notes completely, of course. But in this case, the fact that it's not in the notes, well, translates into reality as well. And of course, this speaks about my expectation. When you hear about a dupe, you expect it to be similar to uh, the fragrance, the original fragrance. And in this case, at least at first, I was very disappointed. But then I kind of changed my approach and I started to just wear this fragrance, not expecting it to be similar to anything else. This fragrance is great. For me, it's not that similar to Angel's Share. It's not. But I have to tell you this, so after wearing it many times already, because I had this for a while now, so I had enough time, more than enough time to play with it, I have to tell you this. For me, smelling these side by side on paper or on skin, on arms, let's just say, you smell one, you smell the other, 
not similar. I mean, okay, similar as in like uh, they're part of the same big, huge family. But are they brothers? Are they um, are they close, close relatives? No. But there's a but. When you spray it on yourself and you're wearing it, and it's in the air, and you get like whiffs of it through the day. There are similarities. I know it's weird. So um, I guess it kind of. Oops. I'm not trying to break anything. I guess it's kind of similar with Cloud and Baccarat Rouge. I hear a lot of people saying, stop comparing these two. They're not even similar. And they're not, I mean, they are similar, but they're not that similar when you compare them, like by smelling them close. You just spray both of them and then. They, there are similarities, but you'll say, oh, they go in different directions. It's kind of the same with this one because in the air, Cloud, smells like Baccarat Rouge. You will swear sometimes that it's Baccarat Rouge and then uh, the person will tell you, no, it's actually Cloud, right? So this is what happens here. Maybe the resemblance is even a little bit less than Cloud with Baccarat, but it's kind of the same. It works in the same way. So this is Boozy. This is not Boozy. This is Kamrach is sweeter than Angel's Share. Angel's Share is more masculine than Kamrach. Uh, Kamrach is fruitier, it's like a syrupy, like, like when you make a fruit salad and you, maybe you add some sugar to it or maybe some honey and you get that, uh, juice left from the fruits, this is how this one smells. It's syrupy, it's sweet, it's fruity, it's very pleasant, it's very pleasant. On the other hand, this to me, Angel Share, because of that booziness, is something else, is sexier darker. Uh, Kamrach, I'm not saying it's, it's not a pleasant, uh, delicious scent, but to me, Kamrach is not sexy, as in uh, date night material. Kamrach is less mature than Angel's Share. I would say Angel's Share is more mature um, in terms of who I see wearing this. Like, I can definitely see Angel's Share on a more mature person, so I'm not talking, this doesn't smell as we say old, I hate saying that because it kind of puts a negative uh, meaning on the word old, which is kind of dumb, but I don't have another word to use. So um, Angel's Share smells more mature in a good way, while Kamrach smells more, um, I will not say childish because it doesn't smell childish, but younger, okay? smells younger due to that fruitier aspect. So there is that. Now, um, if I didn't know this is um, a clone, a dupe, and I would just smell it just like that for the first time, because I told you there was some disappointment there, um, I would think it's a great, great fragrance. I still think it's a great fragrance. But the fact that I had these very high expectations due to the fact that it was always sold out, people were talking about it, there was a lot of hype, there's still a lot of hype, then I, because of that, I was disappointed. I, I'm not sorry, uh, I have this in my collection, like I said. Um, they're not the same fragrance for me, definitely not the same fragrance for me. I don't see the the two of them being so similar. I hear about another dupe. Um, I think it's called Fire Your Desire or something like that. I have not tried that one. And I hear that one is more similar to Angel's Share. I would like to try it actually, but I don't know. I, I didn't uh, look for it or anything. I'm curious to see if there will be a dupe good enough to trick me into thinking it's actually Angel's Share by smelling it, you know. Obviously, I would know, but you know what I mean. So yes, overall, it is a good fragrance. Don't overpay for it because I see the price is going up. Don't overpay for it. Uh, but I think it's good quality. And by the way, uh, I think some of you asked me when I was saying that I will do this video, some of you asked me if this smells uh, fake, cheap, uh, synthetic, plasticky, something like that. No, it really doesn't. It really doesn't. I was very surprised that this smells, um, it's quite smooth. It doesn't smell synthetic. It's not 
scratchy, you know what I mean? It's not like it doesn't bother me in any way. In terms of how masculine or feminine this scent is, I uh, will say that this is a little bit more feminine than Angel's Share, obviously due to the lack of uh, booziness, okay? Um, and I, I, this is also woodier. Yeah, this is woodier. This is like, oof, so good, so good. Um, yeah, well, this is happier. It's a happier scent, okay? <laughs> but I could totally see a man wearing this one. If you're a man who loves sweet scents, wear this one. Uh, women, of course, you can totally wear it. It's, um, like I was saying, a little bit more feminine than Angel Share. So if you had a problem with Angel Share in the past, smelling it and thinking maybe you don't want to smell like like bourbon, you don't want to smell like a bar, it doesn't smell like that, but I'm just saying, I know, I know, I mean, I'm sure there are people out there thinking that way, I don't want to smell like um, a beverage, like an alcoholic beverage, this will be a nice change for you, you might actually enjoy it more for that reason. Here comes the bump. In terms of longevity, in terms of how much it projects, at first, at first, I thought that Kamrak was a little bit weak. So I got it, I sprayed it, then I let it, I let it be. This is how I do with fragrances, I let them just sit. It helps, okay? It helps the way they smell, it helps the, um, the lasting power. And the miracle happened here. So this is, I would say that this, for me, this is stronger, actually. I don't have to overspray with it. Stronger compared with Angel's Share. Angel's Share is not a weak fragrance. I take that back. I know I said it a long time ago. I don't think so anymore. It's not a weak fragrance, but it's a it's a decent fragrance. It's not a bomb. I I wish it was a bomb, actually. I wish. Would be amazing. My my bottle wouldn't be half empty if that was the case. Uh, so Kamrach is actually stronger. It projects a lot. And yes, people complimented me. It's a very likable, mass appealing type of scent without being, without smelling like the inside of a Sephora, without smelling boring, without smelling like you've smelled it a million times before. Which, yeah, of course, it's something desirable. Kamarak lasted on me for at least eight hours, at least eight hours. On clothes, obviously, for days. Um, yeah, it's a great fragrance. It's sweet though, so, you know, if you are not into sweet fragrances, you might not like this one. Um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a mix of, I didn't even read the notes, so, but of course you can do that as well, so I'm not always keen on doing that. So we have, um, we have cinnamon, nutmeg, bergamot, I don't get any bergamot uh, necessarily. Uh, I do get the cinnamon, um, then we have pralines, dates, tuberose, and mahonial. I don't get the tuberose, by the way. And I usually get the tuberose. If there is a little bit of tuberose in something, yeah, I will, I will definitely smell it. Then there is vanilla, I get plenty of that. There is tonka, I get plenty of that. Myrrh, benzoin, yeah, it's, it's quite rich, uh, it's quite resinous. You can definitely get the pralines and the dates as well, that's why I'm saying it's, it's sweet, it's though so even if it's sweet it's not it doesn't make you sick with the sweetness this sweetness still because of the fruitiness it remains um young in a way fresh somehow uh then we have um akigala wood and amber wood so yeah there is a little bit of a woody base not as much as angel's chair has there is less woodiness in here um it's not as solid, I would say, in terms of the scent profile as Angel's Share. Uh, this is more um, more of a happy presence, like I was saying. It's not really that deep, mysterious, dark. No, this is not it for me. I can see it layered. Definitely can see it layered with something, obviously, less sweet, more woody. Mm. I haven't tried it yet. I might try it. But it is strong enough to wear it on its own, like I told you. Um, it does project, yes. So I'm trying to think if I mentioned everything. I don't want to miss uh, any detail. Yes, season. So um, I would not wear this one when it's super, super hot outside. But otherwise, 
this is great for pretty much any type of weather. So we're, we're not talking hot summer, we're just putting that aside. But besides that, you can wear it uh, all the other seasons. You can wear it during daytime, you can wear it nighttime. If I were to pick something from night for nighttime um, out of the two, obviously I would go with Angel's Chair because it's more seductive. Um, but this is more versatile. I would wear this one anytime. Seriously, anytime. Um, it's, it can be like a day-to-day -day type of scent. It can be a signature scent. Definitely, I don't see anything wrong with that. Just make sure that you have enough. I mean, since I think it's back in stock, it should be back in stock, right? I mean, there's no point in keeping this away from customers who actually want it. I'll actually check that and let you guys know if it's back in stock. Uh, yeah, I hope so. Oh, and also I did decant from it a little bit. So I didn't, uh, this is not all me, okay? I didn't uh, spray this much. I did, I did a small decant, like 5 ml, was it 5 ml? Yeah, I think so, for someone. So um, yeah, this is it, this is it. Thank you for watching. Tell me if you've tried this one. I'm very curious about your opinions. If you see this being super similar, as some people um, say, for me, it's, let's say, 70% um, maybe. Yeah, I would say if, if I were to pick a percentage, let's just go with that. Um, around that, around that for me, because it's missing that important ingredient. Important for me, I don't know about you, but like I said, let me know. Let's talk in the comments. Thank you for watching one more time and I will see you next week for another video. Bye-bye.